Here in Louisville, we know that the only things swimming in the Ohio River with teeth are Asian carp and some other smaller fish. We leave the worries about sharks to our neighbors who live in the coastal cities. But it wasn't always that way. Today, as we found out from the folks at Mammoth Cave National Park, an hour and a half south of Louisville, where we are all living on dry land at the moment was once a haven for sharks. Miles underground, deep into uncharted areas of Kentucky's Mammoth Cave National Park. You were watching paleontologists and cave specialists at work. How remote are we talking? You crawl on hands and knees for half a mile. Then you can stand up when you get to the fossil. Delicately collecting fossils that are opening up a major discovery about Earth. So far down, the journey doesn't stop there, like the trip they took this Saturday. We hiked two miles down off of tour trail carrying wetsuits and inflatable boats, and we go half a mile on an underground river to an area where we're finding some, some of these shark remains. You heard right, shark remains. Yep, some of the most mysterious and frightening creatures in the oceans where you swim today were swimming all over Kentucky. 350 million years ago. There was no cave here. It was just a, a big open marine ocean floor with lots of water on it over your head. Over time, that filled up and then um, it became dry land. The remarkable fact that sharks lived in our backyards all started by chance at Mammoth Cave. Back in the 90s, guides had noticed sharks' teeth and fossils and has now turned into a major historic finding. No one in over 100 years has ever found any shark fossils from this layer until now. All kinds of sharks, shapes and sizes, including one bigger than the most feared of them all, the great white. The shark in the movie Jaws that terrified the country in the 1970s, larger than 18 feet long, right here in good old Kentucky. Cyvota striatus uh, for over 100 years was only known from teeth. And then up until recently, we've identified actual skeletal remains of this shark right here at Mammoth Cave. They are so excited because they found more than just teeth. This is the carcass of a large shark called Cyvota striatus. So far, 40 different species have been discovered, each layer underground revealing a different year and a new shape and size. These passages are opening up time capsules of distinct layers of rock that are revealing these sharks. We learn something new around here about our community all the time, it seems. Well, Mammoth Cave is open, but on a limited basis at the moment due to COVID-19 restrictions. You can check their website before you decide to take a drive south and maybe look for some sharks. <laughs>